Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing the easiest banana shake recipe without dairy milk. So let's get started with the recipe. To make dairy free banana shake, I'm making homemade almond milk. And for that, I have already soaked 8 to 10 almonds overnight. And I'm peeling the skin. The reason why you need to soak the almonds overnight and peel the skin is to help release the phytic acid content in the nuts which will help in better nutrient absorption and also will help in better digestion. Also note that the peels will not be easily digested so it's always ideal to soak the almonds and peel them before consuming. Instead of almonds you can also use soaked cashew nuts or even coconut milk. If you have a good quality organic plant-based milk at hand, you can use it as well. I have added the peeled almonds into my small chutney grinder. To make one cup of almond milk, I have measured one cup of water. And from this, I am adding in about one fourth cup of water into the chutney grinder. And I am going to blend this really well to make an almond paste. Okay, now I have blended it into a thick almond paste. I'm transferring it into a cup. As you can see, there are some residue in the chutney grinder. I'm adding in the rest of the water into the chutney grinder. And I'm washing down the residue onto the cup. And now I have one cup of fresh, pure, homemade almond milk. See, it's so easy to make almond milk at home. Now, you can store this in the refrigerator and it will stay good if kept in an airtight glass container for up to three to four days. You can use this to make coffee or tea or even to make a vegan curd. I have already shared the recipes. Please do check it out. The banana I'm using is a local Kerala variety known as Nendran. And as you can see, there are some black spots on the bananas. The more the black spots, the more sweeter the banana will be. I'm adding the banana into the blender jar. Freshly ground cardamom powder. This is seeds of two cardamoms freshly ground. Freshly ground cardamom powder has an amazing flavor. So try not to skip it. For sweetness, I'm adding in one soft medjool dates. Add in the freshly made homemade almond milk. Lastly, I'm adding in a couple of ice cubes. Adding ice cubes is entirely optional, but will give a smooth and creamy texture to the banana shake. Blend this really well. Pour the dairy-free banana shake onto a serving glass. For added flavor, sprinkle some cinnamon powder on top. And my super healthy banana shake is ready to serve. So guys, do try this healthy banana shake and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.